Okay guys, this is another GTA 5 online video and in this video I am going to be showing you the top 5 must buy items in the whole of GTA 5 online. This could come from, this could go to cars, to motorbikes, bicycles, tanks, helicopters, planes, buildings, apartments, accommodations, garages, weapons, anything. Top five must buy items in the whole of GT5 online. So if you like the video, then like and then subscribe if you like my content. So thanks for watching, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first must buy item in GTA 5 Online is a motorcycle and it is the Shih Tzu Akachu. This bike is absolutely brilliant. I think I pronounced it correctly, I'm not too sure. And it is the best bike in the game, motorcycle in the game, no shadow of a doubt to it. It is brilliant, it's so quick, it's got brilliant handling, braking and all that. It's, however, a negative about it is it's not the best at wheeling but if you have if you're really poor in gta it's only like 82 crowns it's brilliant value but if you're like under level 20 of no money go for the akuma that's just as good but this is in my opinion better so getting on to the second best thing okay so the second best must buy item in the game is a car and is the armored karuma armored carrying karuma this vehicle is probably the most important must buy out of the five. It is so good, it looks nice, it's got speed, four people could fit inside it and it's powerful on the road. However, a negative about it is you can't throw sticky bombs outside of the windows, but that's not too much of a problem. And sometimes people could actually shoot you through it if, well, you get unlucky, it's just a little glitch. Um, I'm gonna show you in a minute how this is, how much you can ram cars. It is powerful. There you go, hit. It can ram vehicles. It's absolutely brilliant vehicle to buy. So yeah, that's the second must buy. Getting on to the third now. Okay, so the third must buy item in GTA 5 Online is the Insurgent or the Insurgent pickup. Here on the game that I have the Insurgent pickup, I don't actually own the Insurgent. They're both really good. However, the Insurgent pickup is better because of you've got a minigun on top. And the, but however, the normal insurgent is better because you can actually store it in your garage. Get it, get it delivered to you. This thing, you can't get it delivered to you. You have to go and pick it up. Um, as I'm showing in the gameplay as well, just like the Armour Karuma, you can ram through more things. But I would probably even say the Armour Karuma is more important thing to have than this. But this vehicle can ram through and push anything, push buses, right? It can't doesn't go too far of a bus but it could push through anything it's so powerful it's such a fun vehicle to use going around killing everyone wrecking everyone it is a definitely a must buy in gta online if not the insurgent normal insurgent is slightly cheaper at the minute they're on discount so go and buy one okay so the fourth must buy item in gta 5 online is the rhino tank the rhino tank is an absolute brilliant vehicle to have it can literally obliterate anything in its path any vehicles um yeah the rhino tank could run over if it runs over something it completely destroys it blows up car as i show right here in a second you can you can you won't blow up in it unless actually online people are trying to kill you so yeah the fourth most must importantly buy item in the game is the rhino tank so go and buy one it's actually on discount as well i believe okay so the last and final item that's a must buy in gta 5 online is actually the office and this office is so important to have if you're especially if you're someone that goes in free mode and likes earning money from free mode this will get you a lot of money if you've got the help from friends as well you'll be you'll be rich but a lot of the time your friends don't want to do it because they don't really get a lot. They get pay rises with the CEO stuff, but they don't really get too much. But um, yeah, so I'm going to show you from this clip a bit round what it's like. So you've got, you can actually play a game on, I can't remember what the game's called, on the that TV there. I don't show you in this clip, 
but you can play a game on that computer I just went past. Um, you start jobs and get stuff, and then you sell it. It's it's so good. And also, if you buy the accommodation to get this is if you buy this, sorry, it, you can actually spawn here, which is a sick thing. I just love spawning here, and I'm about to show you in a minute. Well, after I've shown you the roof, the garage, uh, where you store 30 cars as well. But however, the roof, you can spawn in vehicles on the roof, you and you you could pick who drives it, drives them. You can also get to spawn in vehicles or spawn vehicles down on the ground and like insurgents, stuff like even personal vehicles. It's you could do so much with this office. Yeah, um, someone like me is ranked 309. I've been playing GTA for ages. I've got a lot of money. I can afford it. Um, yeah, so if you want to earn money, I could do a video on that, but just go do heists, um, stuff like that. Yeah, so this is the garage and, yeah, 30 cars. So that's all about it. The office is very important. They're the five things. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more GTA 5 and other videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video.